Wuwen finds baby left in a park. How the baby grows up to show gratitude is stunning. The park was shrouded in a blanket of early morning mist, the crisp autumn air biting at the few joggers and dog walkers who braved the cold. In a small town where everyone knew each other, nothing much happened, at least nothing worth talking about. But on that particular morning, something extraordinary was about to unfold, something that would alter the course of many lives. London Brooks, a widow in her late 50s, had taken to walking through the park every morning after her husband's passing. It was a routine that brought her comfort, a way to feel connected to the world even as she grappled with her grief. Her silver hair was tied back in a loose bun, her woolen coat buttoned up tightly against the chill. She walked slowly, her cane tapping rhythmically on the cobblestone path. As she rounded the bend near the old oak tree, London heard a sound that made her pause. At first, she thought it was the wind rustling through the leaves, but then she heard it again, a faint cry, almost like a kitten's mewling. She frowned and looked around, her heart quickening. There, beneath a bench, partially hidden by a thick blanket, was a small bundle. London's breath caught in her throat as she hurried over. Kneeling down, she carefully pulled back the blanket, revealing a tiny face with big, tear-filled eyes. It was a baby, no more than a few months old, abandoned alone in the cold. London's heart broke at the sight. Who could leave a helpless infant in such a state? The questions raced through her mind that there was no time to ponder them. Without a second thought, she gathered the baby into her arms, cradling the little one close to her chest. The baby quieted almost immediately, as if sensing it was safe now. London's heart swelled with a protective instinct she hadn't felt in years. She knew she had to act quickly. The authorities were notified, and an investigation was launched. News of the abandoned baby spread quickly through the small town, and everyone was talking about it. Who had left the baby there? Why? And who would take care of the child now? London, who had no children of her own, found herself thinking about the baby constantly. She visited the hospital every day, bringing little toys and clothes she had purchased. The nurses began to look forward to her visits, recognizing the bond that was forming between London and the child. The baby whom London had started calling Alina had captured her heart in a way she never thought possible. It wasn't long before she made a decision that shocked everyone. She would adopt Alina and raise her as her own. The adoption process was not easy. There were questions about London's age, her ability to care for a child, and the emotional toll it might take on her. But London was determined. She had never felt more certain about anything in her life. This child had been brought into her life for a reason, and she was going to give Alina the love and home she deserved. After months of interviews, home visits, and paperwork, the day finally came when London was granted custody of Alina. Holding the official documents in her hand, London felt a wave of emotions, joy, relief, and an overwhelming sense of purpose. She was now a mother, and she vowed to give Alina the best life possible. The years passed, and Alina grew into a bright and inquisitive child. London doted on her, teaching her everything she knew, how to bake, how to garden, and most importantly, how to be kind and compassionate. Alina was the light of London's life, and their bond was unbreakable. But as Alina grew older, she began to ask questions. Why didn't she have a father? Why did she look different from London? And why did she sometimes feel like a part of her was missing? London had always known this day would come, but it didn't make it any easier. She sat Alina down and told her the truth about how they had found each other. She explained that Alina had been left in the park, but that she had been given a second chance at life, a chance to be loved and cared for. Alina listened quietly, her big eyes filled with curiosity. When London finished, Alina asked the one question that had been haunting her for years. Why did my real parents leave me? London didn't have an answer, but she reassured Alina that it wasn't because she wasn't wanted or loved. Sometimes, people make difficult decisions for reasons we may never understand, she said gently. But what matters is that you were found, and you were loved more than anything in the world. Alina nodded, but London could see the sadness in her eyes. She knew that this was something Alina would carry with her for the rest of her life, a mystery that might never be solved. On Alina's 18th birthday, something strange happened. A letter arrived at their home, addressed to Alina in an elegant, unfamiliar script. There was no return address, and the postmark was smudged, making it impossible to tell where it had come from. 
Alina's heart raced as she opened the letter. Inside was a single sheet of paper with a message written in the same elegant handwriting. The Alina, I have watched you from afar for many years, and I have seen the wonderful person you have become. Please know that the decision to leave you was the hardest I have ever made, but it was done out of love. I hope one day you can forgive me. Yours always, a friend. Alina was stunned. Who was this person? Could it be one of her birth parents? And if so, why have they contacted her now, after all these years? The letter raised more questions than it answered, and the mystery deepened. London was equally perplexed. They had lived in the same house for years, and no one had ever tried to contact them before. Why now? She worried about what this might mean for Alina, who had finally started to come to terms with her past. But Alina was determined to find out who had sent the letter. She began to investigate, tracing the origins of the letter as best she could. She reached out to people in the community, searched through old records, and even hired a private investigator. But every lead seemed to end in a dead end. Despite the mystery surrounding the letter, Alina remained hopeful. She believed that the truth would come out eventually, and when it did, she would be ready. Several years passed, and Alina had grown into a confident, compassionate young woman. She had graduated from college, started a successful career, and was engaged to be married. Life was good, but the mystery of her past still lingered in the back of her mind. Then, one day, a breakthrough came. The private investigator she had hired called her with news. He had found someone who might have answers. It was an elderly woman living in a small town several hours away. She claimed to have known Alina's birth mother and had information that could shed light on the mystery. Alina and London made the trip together, their hearts pounding with anticipation. When they arrived, they were greeted by a frail woman with kind eyes and a gentle smile. She introduced herself as Mrs. Davina and invited them inside. As they sat in the cozy living room, Mrs. Davina began to tell her story. She explained that she had been a close friend of Alina's birth mother, a woman named Niam. Niam had been young and in a difficult situation when she became pregnant with Alina. She had no support and was overwhelmed with fear and uncertainty. She loved you more than anything in the world, Mrs. Davina said, her voice trembling. But she didn't feel like she could give you the life you deserved. So she made the hardest decision a mother could make. She left you in a place where she knew you would be found and cared for. Alina's eyes filled with tears as she listened. It was a heartbreaking story, but it was also filled with love. Nyan had wanted the best for her daughter, even if it meant giving her up. Mrs. Davina handed Alina a small box. Inside was a locket with a photo of Niam and a note in the same elegant handwriting as the letter Alina had received years ago. My dearest Alina, I have always loved you and never stopped thinking about you. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you, but I'm so proud of the person you've become. I hope this locket reminds you of my love. With all my heart, Mom. Alina clutched the locket to her chest, overwhelmed with emotion. The mystery of her past had finally been solved, and though it was bittersweet, she felt a sense of peace she had never known before. As the years went on, Alina and London continued to grow closer, their bond stronger than ever. Alina never forgot the sacrifices London had made for her, the love and care she had given unconditionally. And though she had learned the truth about her birth mother, she knew that London was her true mother in every sense of the word. Alina wanted to do something special for London, something that would show just how much she meant to her. She began to plan in secret, gathering ideas and resources, determined to give London a gift that would express her gratitude in a meaningful way. On the anniversary of the day they found each other in the park, Alina surprised London with a beautiful ceremony in the very place where their journey had begun. Friends and family gathered as Alina took London's hand and led her to the old oak tree where a plaque had been placed. The plaque read, In honor of London Brooks, a mother by choice and by love, Thank you for finding me and giving me a life filled with joy, kindness, and unwavering love. London's eyes filled with tears as she read the words. She turned to Alina, her heart overflowing with emotion. You've given me more than I could ever ask for, she whispered. Alina smiled, holding her mother close. And you've given me everything, she replied. As they stood together under the old oak tree, surrounded by the people who loved them, London and Alina knew that their story was not just about a chance encounter in a park. It was about the power of love, the strength of family, and the incredible ways in which life can surprise us. 
And though the mystery of Alina's past had been solved, the true miracle was the bond that had been forged between a mother and daughter, a bond that would last a lifetime. Years later, after London had passed away, Alina continued to visit the park, often bringing her own children to play under the old oak tree. She would tell them the story of how she and their grandmother had found each other, how love had brought them together, and how it had shaped their lives in ways they could never have imagined. The plaque under the oak tree became a symbol of their family's legacy, a legacy of love, gratitude, and the enduring power of kindness. And every time Alina visited, she would place her hand on the plaque, feeling the warmth of her mother's love surrounding her, knowing that she had been given the greatest gift of all. For Alina, the stunning act of gratitude she had shown her mother was just the beginning. It was a way to honor the woman who had given her everything and to ensure that London's love would live on, not just in her heart, but in the hearts of generations to come. And in that small quiet park, where a woman had once found a baby left alone in the cold, a story of love, mystery, and gratitude would continue to be told for years to come, inspiring all who heard it to cherish the people they love and to never underestimate the power of a mother's heart.